Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this part four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix our issue we get with data loader. The issue is pretty simple, but I think um, it's gonna, I mean, the issue is simple, but I think just a video about this, it's gonna be enough. It's uh, because I, I want you to really understand what happened right now. And you're gonna see it's not that crazy, but yeah, it's, uh, it's something to fix. So if you remember in the last video, when I was fixing here the get meetup, here you see right now my ID one of my meetup, I have a user ID number two. And if we look at our database, that was not the case. It's supposed to be user ID one. And if you can see here, if I'm fetching again, sometime, not right now, but in some case, now I get one right there, example. So now what happened, it's, I think the best bet to see that it's to log the IDs, okay? And see what is really happening. So now if I running that, I want to make sure I get both perfect. You see, in some place I get two and one, but in some place I get one and two. So right now, the thing is, we what we do, it's not that good because yes, we do the logic, the logic is fine, perfect. But the issue is what we get from the, uh, the database here, it's gonna always be in the same order, okay? We're gonna get the stuff from the same order, that's perfect, the database do its job. But the thing is us, because the ID is not always in the same place and the, ID, the, the way we return it, it's just we return the user like we get from the database, but sometimes what we got is the, the first user is supposed to be at the position two and the other one is position one. So finally, what we should do, it's returning the user in order of what we need to return them. So if the ID say, hey, I want to receive user two and one, we should return the user with the ID two first and after that the user with the ID one. And you're gonna see, it's gonna be pretty simple what we need to do, okay? First thing we need to do is we need to create a map of string, which is going to be the ID, with the pointer of user. So in this case, I'm going to create a U for user. I'm going to make a map of string to pointer of model user. But now, because I know already how many user I'm going to... Um, how many user I'm gonna get, and I want to put that below. Sorry about that. I want to put that below that. How many user I'm gonna get? Because now the model gonna have provide the the user variable at this point right there gonna already have all the user need. So now I can just say, hey, give me the map already with the size I know. So we don't want more, and we don't want less memory for this one. Now here, the only thing I'm gonna do. It's if I have an error in nil, I want to stop right there. And now I'm gonna return the error like that, okay? So when I'm get here, I have no error. Now here, what I want to do, it's I want to look over each of the user we have. So it's a range a loop, nothing crazy. It's just now this map at this point, it's an empty map. But now I can provide this map with the user the ID equal to the user we have. So now what's gonna happen if we, I'm gonna have example one, and now here I'm gonna have my user, and now after that I'm gonna have two, and I'm gonna have my user. The map, we're gonna always put them together. So now it's perfect. After that, I want to create another map, uh, and, and now I, I mean a, a slice. Who this slice is going to be the type of what we need to return, but also now we have the length of what we want for the slice because what we want to return is the same size of what we receive. Now I'm going to return the result already, but now this result. This slice, we want to provide the user at the position it's supposed to be. So all we can do this is now we're going to range over the IDs. And remember, when you range, the first argument is the index and the second one is the element himself of what you loop over. 
And now here, what I can do is I can say, hey, I want my result at the position it's supposed to get to become the user from the ID. And remember, you gonna become a map of user as with a key of a string IDs. So this is what we get. So here, this user gonna become my pointer user like that. But that's gonna be the one I want to return at this result. So now if I save and now I'm running my server, nothing should crash because we return the same stuff. But now if we look back in Firefox, if not, if I send, now Bob is there. Bob is there, Bob is there. And user two with the ID number six for the meetups. So now if I look here, uh, number six meetup, it's John. And now if I rerun this code every time, it's always, always the same stuff because now we do not returning the user like we got. We modify the uh, the result we return to be in the order we should return. And, that, and you can already see that. Here at the end, we get two and one. So that was the IDs we received. But here, that was one and two. But now, because we make it pretty smarter than what we get before. Now we can really return the result as it's supposed. So now we should not get the same issue. So that's the thing. <laughs> I hope you did understand what happened. Here the only thing we can maybe uh, say it's, I don't know how to call this thing. Like for me, I just say you because the first letter of user, um, I think some people don't gonna like it because it don't make any sense. But um, for me, just a way to, I, I'm, I know here that's going to be the case where I'm going to just put all of my user. Uh, but for sure, some documentation is going to be good. But I think in Go, we see that a lot where we just use one letter. So it's going to be perfect. And here, this loop. So the most important loop is really this one. But this one cannot do its job until this one is done. So it's pretty good. So I hope you enjoy. And inside the next video, we're going to continue with the crowd. Because right now, what happened is we can create a meetup with the new meetup input inside the create meetup but we should be able to update a meetup and delete a meetup if we are the owner of the, of the meetup and uh, receiving a 43 forbidden error if we are not the owner because we don't want anybody to delete our meetup if it's not from ourselves so i hope you enjoyed and and we're gonna talk in the next video please uh, li like the button uh, click on the like button if you did like this video and uh, also, uh, you can add some comment if you have any kind of question. Bye, everyone.